Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, OG Camera Boy. I hope y'all doing well out there, you know what I'm saying? Today's March 4th when I'm recording this. That means we're at the beginning of Women's History Month. And today I want to do something a little bit different than I've been doing, and that is to pay homage to all the ladies out there who are doing this camera channel thing too. And I want to school y'all to my top five that I've been watching for a long time and give them respect, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's get into that list of the top five women's YouTube camera channels. DNA made from Nikon Z chromosomes, homie. I guess my secret's out, and now you know me. So coming in at number five on my list, Lee the Snap Chick. So I love Lee's approach to her channel and reviews. It's a lot of no nonsense, straight to the point, and informative real-world testing of equipment and advice. She's very thorough when discussing equipment and techniques and well prepared, man. Her video production's always clean and well edited. And in many ways, I see myself trying to emulate her style in some form or fashion too. Though I definitely consider myself more of a goof and less experienced in the genre than she is. You know, she's someone who I look to for ideas sometimes. And I like her approach to how she sees testing equipment from a real world perspective. Doesn't get too bogged down into the stats or the ones and twos, if you know what I'm saying. Her photographic style is nice too. And Lee knows her way around the camera, no doubt, to come up with these great shots that I know I admire. She's great for giving you that vicarious experience of, of the subject matter and in many ways testing the equipment how most of us will try and use it, you feel me? Yo, and homegirl's been doing her thing for some time now. She ain't no rookie YouTuber, that's for sure. She's paid her YouTube dues and amassed a nice follower. But in my opinion, she deserves way more subscribers indeed. Also, we both have a black rescue kitty. Kitty. At least I hope she still has a little homie around. I know he was an older cat the last I heard of Leroy Brown. So I hope little homie's still with her and she got that in common with me too. Hey, I respect you, Lee. Big up to your channel. And that camera pending on that chain is dope too. I'm feeling it. Number four on my list is gonna be Jessica Kobasi. Nah, Jessica's the real deal. I mean, homegirl's a pro photographer and she knows what she's doing when composing the shot and most notably when shooting a model, you feel me? Her approach to subjects is incredible and very inspirational to someone like me that would consider myself an extreme dabbler into the realm of photography. And I guess not a pro, but a heavy enthusiast. And I don't mean heavy because I ain't been working out for months now during the COVID situation and eating like Chris Christie, you feel me? So get that out your mind, cuz. Anyways, I'ma start training again and you'll see me swole soon when I bounce back, you feel me? Alright, sorry about that tangent. Back to Jessica, of course. She is full of good advice and like a masterclass for free towards photography. She shows how to approach each shot, how and why she likes certain angles, how she'll process an image and explain her thought process from start to finish. I mean, you can see homegirl's wheels spinning and you know that she has the process all mapped out in her mind like the matrix or something, you know what I'm saying? I would say she's genuinely a genius with the camera in her hands and it's like another appendage to her. And I just love the idea of being around people who are masters of their domains, you know what I'm saying? And I'm so grateful for YouTube in this instance because it lets us be inspired by someone we wouldn't otherwise have exposure to. And as button photographers and extreme enthusiasts, Jessica's the perfect example of someone who you'd love to shadow, to immerse yourself in her process. Yo, when I think of Jessica, I think of like Annie Leibovitz. She strikes me as having that level of talent and dedication to her craft. And I love watching her work or even goof around in challenges with other photographers or amateurs to show hers as well as others processes and approaches. So, big up to you, Jessica. I admire what you do and how you do it. You don't need my help or exposure, that's for sure. I know you have this YouTube thing on lock, so keep doing what you do and creating that art, girl, and I'ma keep admiring you from afar. Number three on my list is gonna be Chelsea Northrup of Chelsea and Tony Northrup. See how I put her first there? I always felt that she should be getting top billing on the marquee, and maybe it's something you should consider, Tony, you feel me? I'm sure I do not need to tell you about Chelsea, man. She's a boss in this camera game for sure. I mean, I'm talking about homegirl who's knowledgeable and informed. She's another very experienced photographer who has the technique aspects of photography on lock. I mean, I really enjoy watching when she gives her tutorials and always come away with something new. Yo, what I like most about homegirl is the fact that she's very genuine. What you see is what you get. And in a world, especially the internet world, filled with fake garbage, Chelsea's definitely a breath of fresh air, man. She's someone who talks straight to you and tells us straight. And I appreciate that. 
She's been doing this a long time now too and paid her dues. I feel like she sometimes gets overlooked and her humble nature just keeps her grounded to a point of maybe showing Tony a little obsequiousness. But don't sleep on her, no sir. She's the real deal and in my opinion, true star of the tandem. Now I ain't talking down to Tony. Homeboy has it too and he's got the skills, no doubt. I don't always agree with everything he says, but he's got talents, no question. I just feel like Chelsea's the pillar or the cornerstone of the duo. I think Tony would agree with that. Don't let her demure size fool you. Homegirl's like Atlas carrying the world on her shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Plus, she come up with the idea of Nikon and Samsung merger, which, like I have said in the past, is genius-level thinking. She funny, too, on the ad-lib with that polycamerous comment, for example, going between Canon, Sony, and Nikon. Hey, I like that. And if that can't contain itself to just cameras, hey, picture yourself down south here in Miami under palm trees, girl, you feel me? Otherwise, count your blessings, Tony, my man. You hit it out the park with that girl, and having her knowledge and intelligence is a blessing to you and all of us who watch her do this camera thing. I swear to God, man, they don't do jack shit on the construction for a long time. Every time I come out here in that moment, they like watching for me, man. They standing out there watching for me. Then they start operating all their power tools, motherfuckers. I swear to God, man, they testing my patience out this bitch. Jesus Christ, man, get the fuck out of here, man. Jesus, man, what the fuck is this guy, huh? He's just waiting there. He just trying to piss me off, man. He see what I'm doing? He just trying to piss me off, for real. Get the fuck out of here already, man. Man, garbage trucks and tractors, helicopters and planes. What the f is going on here today, man? All right, go on with you. Get the f out of here. Oh my God, that's what it is. Okay, we're gonna add cranes to the mother mix too. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, man. Serenity now, mother Serenity now. God damn, serenity, mother no! That's just what I needed for my cadence, a metronome, mother So really, who am I to talk about my number two pick? I mean, this girl is killing it, man. A natural and a behemoth in the YouTube game. Never mind about that camera genre. I mean, who am I to talk about any of these ladies, really? But I just want to spread my love to these inspirational women, man. My number two is Justine from I Justine fame. Homegirl is incredible. I mean, what could you say? She is thorough and entertaining. I mean, she's perfect at being in front of the camera. I would love to see her analytics because I'm sure her reviewer retention rate is close to 100%. There are some people who are just naturals at what they do, and that is Justine. I mean, she's like the Oprah of YouTube channels, man. I'm a nobody on here and just doing YouTube because I want to talk about these cameras and art form that I love so much. But when I see a video from Justine and compare that to what I do, I'm like, homegirl is so far ahead of where I can even imagine myself being. It's crazy. I straight look at my videos and I'm like, they's garbage, man. Justine just made me feel like my standard is pure doo-doo for real. Now, don't get me wrong now. That's a good thing. I don't look at it in a derogatory way. Her style of finesse is an inspiration to me. I love watching her because she's a master. Point finale, man. I think if you were to pick people off of YouTube and give them a network show in a traditional format, Justine would kill that and be a natural. She's funny, quirky, real and relatable, man. I love all things tech, so she has it all covered. Whatever she amassed to this point is very well deserved, and I really don't see it slowing down for her. I think that honestly we at that inception of a crossover rising star, and we'll be seeing a lot more of her in all sorts of different realms of social media, and possibly even mainstream media type shows. I don't think she'll remain primarily a YouTuber for long, even though she's been doing this a real long time. People like Justine just have it. You know it, I know it, but I think best of all is that she may know it too, but it's too honorable a person to let on about it, or let it dominate her approach. Yo, big up to you, Justine. I very much appreciate you and what you do and wish you all the much deserved success. All right, now that brings me to my number one choice of favorite female camera channels. And ironically, of all the channels that I've mentioned or talked about to this point, she is the smallest if you size it up by subscribers. Now, that means nothing to me though, because let me just say, this girl is so talented, and like of everyone on YouTube, period, or otherwise, male or female, I would love to meet and shadow her for a day of shooting a video. Her production quality is incredible. She's an artist, fam, a true artist, a visual and storytelling 
Grandmaster Master. Now, that operates as a decent segue for me to finally say that my number one pick for my personal favorite YouTuber, period, is Kitty of Atola Visuals. What can I say other than I love how and what she does? This girl is the Rolex of production value, the Rolls Royce of visuals and storytelling, and quite simply the Rembrandt of cameras. That camera is her brush and the world is her canvas. I'm always amazed with how flawlessly she edits and visualizes her concepts. It's so refined that it looks so simple, yet complicated, and so smart that it makes you ponder, you feel me? You watch it and say, hey, maybe I can do that, but nope, she on another level, believe that. Plus, I mean, her name is Kitty, man, and I'm a serious cat and animal lover. I mean, come on now, serendipity if you ask me. I love watching her videos because I feel like as someone who is attempting to do YouTube, her channel is like a PhD dissertation, and I'm trying to understand it and deconstruct it to maybe even be able to emulate one one hundredth of the capacity of what she puts out. You can tell that she has formal training and is using her knowledge and understanding of the camera medium to create art. Even if it is informative, it's artistic in her case. She only knows how to produce incredible quality. I swear, I love her channel, and I'm one of the loyal subscribers and viewers. I will remain one as long as she keeps doing what she does for show. Ain't no doubt about it. You know, she ticks the boxes of all around incredible talent for both photography and videography. And those are the reasons for me she deserves my top spot. You know, some big YouTubers have a team around them to direct what they do and help produce an idea. Now, I might be wrong, but I feel like with Kitty, it's all her. What you're watching is a peek into her mind, imagination, her heart and soul. And the approach makes me feel disarmed, you know what I'm saying? And I'm immersed into her stream of consciousness. I think that is a very rare talent and it deserves a lot of credit and recognition. If I could talk to one person about a camera, I would want to talk to her about it. If I could ask one person about a visual idea, it would be Kitty. Homegirl's got it, man. So thank you, Kitty, for inspiring me and doing your wonderful work. I love what you do and appreciate your talent. Big up to you, homegirl. And not that I need to tell you, but don't let anyone change your approach because they'd be wrong. Church, that's all I need to say about that. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all that bullshit. If you have any other ladies that you feel I missed, comment down below and let's give them women the recognition they deserve. Keep encouraging them to achieve and innovate and strive to create a more equitable playing field for our sisters, our mothers and daughters out there. Peace.